Martin. Here we are at New Jersey. It's almost towards the end of the season. We haven't talked to you all season long. Tell us about your season so far, all the way up and through. Here we go. Long story, go. Um, at Road Atlanta, it was it was all right. I expected to do better because I'd never done AMA before, but I ended up doing all right. And then I've progressively gotten better. Um, what was the first race? I mean, after Road Atlanta. Oh, it was Road Atlanta was uh, Infineon. No, Road America. I didn't go to Infineon. I'm just doing the East Coast, but... Uh, Road America, I got two fourths, so I was excited about that. After Road America, we headed to Mid Ohio. Mid Ohio, first race, I was in third, crashed out, it's all right. And then uh, second race, I fell back to tenth, and it's okay. And then uh, New Jersey, I mean VR, VR is next. And then I got two fifths there. First race, I got they pulled me a little bit. Second race, I hung with them a little, little more. I was happy with that. And there. Yesterday, I didn't too, do too well. I was in fourth or third, can't remember, and crashed out. But hopefully today I'll get on podium. I'll do good. Is it a big difference here racing at this level compared to what you've been racing? Is it a big jump? Yes, definitely. I used to think that uh, I, when I came into Road Atlanta, I thought it wasn't going to be this hard. I, I mean, it, does, it looks way easier than it is because I was used to Weira. So, I mean, it was way easier than this. So, yeah. So it is really like the pro level. Yes, definitely. Way more than I expected. Well, way to stick with it, man. And you got one more race here, and then will we see you at Barber? Yes, definitely. That's my. That's going to be my home track. So. Yeah, when we first saw you was in the USGPRU, seems like a thousand years ago, and you were about two feet shorter. Yeah, I started out on the 125s and got better. Won a few races on the 125. We'll get on the podium on the 125, and then uh tried out in the Milwaukee 125 and 250 all in the same year did all three classes that was kind of tough but I liked it helped me learn every all the tracks more and I liked that and then last year was uh the 250 and I got on podium a few times and I really liked the 250 sometimes I miss it but 600 is definitely where it's at <laughs> was it hard to transition or I mean you had a growth spurt so it was pretty easy to, to get onto the big bikes you were ready to do that um yeah th definitely the height helped on the 600 but I was so used to like not having engine braking and riding the 250 different lines and everything so it took me a little while to figure out when to brake and how late I can brake and the, the lines to take but ended up being pretty well. All right good luck man hang in there it's it's the pro level swimming in the deep end. Thank you. <laughs>